Question 16. What benefits does Hyper-V offer customers? Answer. Hyper-V provides customers an ideal platform for key virtualization scenarios, such as production server consolidation, business continuity management, software test and development, and development of a dynamic data center. Hyper-V provides key functionality, which an ideal virtualization platform should provide scalability, high performance, reliability, security, flexibility, and manageability. It provides scalability and high performance by supporting features like guest multiprocessing support and 64-bit guest and host support, reliability and security through its hypervisor architecture, flexibility and manageability by supporting features like quick migration of virtual machines from one physical host to another, and integration with System Center Virtual Machine Manager. Question 17. Will Microsoft continue to support Linux operating systems with Hyper-V? Answer. Yes. Microsoft provides integration components and technical support for customers running select Linux distributions as guest operating systems within Hyper-V. Please check the supported guest operating systems page for more information and updates. Question 18. Can you provide a brief overview of Hyper-V's feature set? Answer. Some of the capabilities of Hyper-V include x64 host and guest support, ability to run guest machines in a multiprocessor environment, large memory allocation per virtual machine, integrated virtual switch support, and ability to migrate virtual machines across hosts with minimal downtime. With the R2 release of Hyper-V, live migration, new processor support, and dynamic virtual machine capabilities were added. Question 19. How will customers migrate to Hyper-V? Answer. Customers who invest in the VHD file format, the format used by virtual server, as well as a multitude of vendor licenses, will have a clear path forward to Hyper-V. Customers can leverage V2V capabilities in System Center Virtual Machine Manager to conveniently migrate from virtual server or VMware to Hyper-V or work with Microsoft's partners who provide migration solutions. Question 20. Are there tools available to assist in planning for Hyper-V migration? Answer. Yes. The Microsoft Assessment and Planning MAP, toolkit helps you plan for Hyper-V migration by determining which of your physical servers are underutilized and, therefore, good candidates for server virtualization. Question 21. How do users access the Hyper-V? Answer. Users can go to Server Manager and install the Hyper-V role. After the Hyper-V role is enabled, Hyper-V Manager will become available as a part of administrative tools. From the Hyper-V Manager users can easily create and configure virtual machines. Question 22. Does Microsoft provide technical support for Hyper-V? Answer. Yes. Technical support for Hyper-V is part of the support for Windows Server 2008 R2. For more information on support, please refer to the Windows Server 2008 R2 support page. Question 23. What is the expected performance of Hyper-V? How does it compare to Virtual Server? How does it compare to ESX Server? Answer. We are not publishing performance numbers currently. Based on independent reports and benchmarks from partners like QLogic, we believe that we have a competitive virtualization offering. Question 24. What is the list of guests that will be supported on Hyper-V? When can we expect support for key operating systems like Windows Vista, Windows XP, Linux, etc.? Answer. Microsoft supports a number of guest OS environments including Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2008, Windows Server 2003, Windows 2000 Server, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP and Novell SUSE. Question 25. What are the differences between Hyper-V and Virtual Server? Answer. Microsoft Virtual Server 2005 R2 is the current server virtualization solution from Microsoft and is based on a hosted virtualization platform. Hyper-V, a key feature of Windows Server 2008 R2, is a hypervisor-based virtualization platform that will enable customers to not only consolidate a vast array of workloads but also enable moving toward a dynamic IT environment. Environment. Core feature set differences include support for 64 guest virtual machines, SMP support, performance improvements, and other key features in Hyper-V. 
Question 26. How do I know which Windows Server 2008 R2 features or services I am allowed to run on the host without requiring calls? Answer. When using Windows Server 2008 R2 and Hyper-V to run virtual machines with older versions of Windows Server, Windows Server 2008 CALs will not be required in certain scenarios. When the host OS is only running services related to virtualization, such as Hyper-V and failover clustering, then Windows Server 2008 HCALs are not required. If the guest OS is Windows Server 2008 or if the Windows Server 2008 host installs other services, then Windows Server 2008 CALs would still be required. Question 27. What are the licensing considerations in a virtual machine environment? Answer. It is important to understand your licensing rights and obligations when running Microsoft Windows Server and or other Microsoft applications in a virtual machine environment. In addition, it's good to understand the licensing terms offered by independent software vendors ISVs, for any software provided by those vendors. For more information on licensing considerations in these cases, you should consider Consult with your ISV. Question 28. Does running Windows NT in a virtual machine mean that Microsoft is extending its support for the product? Answer, no. While you may receive benefit from moving the applications from physical hardware to virtual machines, running applications in a virtual environment does not extend their support life cycles. For more information about the support life cycle time frames, Question 29. What are the system requirements for Hyper-V? Answer. In addition to the system's requirement for Windows Server 2008 R2, the two key requirements for the Hyper-V platform are the need to ensure that the server is a 64-bit environment and supports hardware-assisted virtualization. Intel VTO AMD V technology. Question 30. How many virtual machines can run per processor? Answer. The number of virtual machines running per host depends on many factors, including physical memory, processor, and workload running in the guest. With Hyper-V, you define the amount of memory available to a virtual machine, and that memory allocation can be altered to reflect the needs of the virtual machine.